There we go. Spawning in the bottom right hand side of Gresfin. Also, I saw I saw the view the little viewfinder. I saw it pop over here. You're not fooling me, Gruff. Anyways, it's Mixu. And cannon rushing again. <laughs> it is Gruff. Alright. All right, Griff, let's see what you do this time. It's going to be another pull first from Mixu. Which I feel like, yeah, that's to be expected. Uh, this first pylon is going to be a little bit further back, so it's probably going to be more of a... Uh, uh, I forget the proper term for it, but it's like an out... It's probably going to be more of like a battery push than anything. Yep, first gateway is going to be... Put down the other side of the map. These uh, drones actually did come out here and check the uh, natural, but they didn't realize that the uh, proxy is actually here. Oh, the Overlord's going back to check. Uh oh. Mixer's not spotting it, but I don't know if it. I'm not sure if it matters if he spots it or not at this point. Uh, Gref does have a probe that's still up here. And it looks like he's just going to evacuate. Yeah, these four lings are going to come out. Um, nothing's really going to come out of this gateway, I don't think. Yep. Circling's immediately go for the pylon. It should be powered down here in just a moment. This this one ling. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the gateway there. Not really any reason to go ahead and kill it yet. Mixu also uh, grabbing both his natural and his third. Yeah, we just there, there's circlings everywhere now. Um. Uh, Mixer kind of dancing around the cannon, trying to get as much damage done to it as possible. The cannon is going to finish. The Zerglings aren't really going to be able to do anything uh, for right now. Stargate is on the way. Oh, is he going to... Please put down the Fleet Beacon. I want to see a Fleet Beacon. <laughs> Please do it again. Ref taking his second guess. Uh, Mixu seems to be kind of content with just droning up. He doesn't see any real threat right now. I mean, and it's it's kind of justified. There's not a lot going on for Gref right now. Uh, these Zerklings are just going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Uh, some of these workers do need to go back to mining, though. We are uh, missing out a lot of mining time here. Makes you continue, continuing to drone up. These Zerglings just being right pains in the ass. Oh! Sorry, he attacked the Nexus. Uh, okay, so we're back to mining. Void Ray is going to clean this up pretty easily. Uh, so makes you now, like, 100% knows what's going on. All right, so we have one Void Ray, a lot of uh, lost mining time, and uh, Mixu's going to have a lot. Mixu has, knows that he has a lot of space and time to kind of just build up whatever he needs to build up. Layer's going to be finishing up here soon. Um, we do have, do have four gases, so I imagine the Spire's going to be popping up here soon as well, as soon as we have the money for it. Uh, well, we do have, do you have money for... Uh, a fleet beacon. Come on, give me the bacon. Give me the bacon. Queens are just going to be continuing to clean up. Yes! <laughs> the carrier is right again. Oh my god. Let's <laughs> let's go. Spire coming up now for Mixu. I yeah, I feel like Mixu knows what's up. Um. You know, it's it's too early it's too early to call anything. 
it would be inappropriate and unprofessional to call anything yet. We'll just have to see how it transpires. Uh, Mixer continuing to drone up here. Um, just going on. We're just rocking that macro train. Uh, third base is going to. Well, he's going to try to put third base down, but uh, he manages to push it away with the void ray. But Mixer does know it's there now, and it's probably knows it's very lightly defended too. First carry is going to be on the way now for our Protoss player. Things are going to be trying to move back in again. Oh my god, is he gonna put wings where the cannons can't reach him? Yes, he is. Alright, grabs three probes. Um, I mean, it definitely puts him even further ahead. Uh, oh wow, he actually spotted the carriers too. Um, unfortunately, uh, once again, there's nothing to really support these carriers or keep them safe. So it's kind of a. It's definitely a hell of a gambit versus somebody like Mixu. More cannons are going down, so this may this may be able to protect the carriers a little bit better. Uh, Gref will just have to make sure to kind of keep the carriers like around the shield battery and the the cannons here. Uh, Mixu sticking on three base. Oh, we're actually going Mutalisk this time. Interesting. A couple of corruptors as well. I'm not even going to question why the queens are out there. I imagine he's just he's just preparing a push. Like, look, here here come the overlords. We're going to get a highway again. Oh, we're going to have... Oh, this is so nasty. Mutalists are going to be hitting the main base here momentarily. Uh, the creep highway will be developing here at the front. All right, here we go. There's there's nothing to really defend these probes, unfortunately. Uh, carriers are being pulled back to try and deal with it. I think those mutalists could actually take on the this, uh, this air force of Gref right now. Creep Highway developing up here at the front. It looks like he's going to be pushing in here momentarily. Uh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm actually surprised. I thought for sure uh, Mixer could push that. But I guess he's focusing more on this push here at the front. Shield battery is going to be popped, but I think that's going to be taken care of pretty damn quickly. A couple of cannons are continuing to fire. Mixer reconsolidating his forces here at the front. He's going to have to back up here a little bit. Looks like he might have overextended. Just a little bit. There's only four queens left. Uh, he's making more corruptors to actually pop these carriers, but you know, uh, this is this is where it starts to get kind of scary because there's a lot of static D that's going to be up for the Protoss player here at this uh, this third base. Now there's still no defenses here at the uh, main base. This one's early. Just let him finish his work at that point. <laughs> Mulus are going to be coming back in as soon as Gref actually moved them back into the main. They're going to be taken out. This one carrier is going to try and uh, help save them. I don't think that's the right call. Oh, no. That's going to be an expensive loss. All right. A couple carriers are uh, coming to reinforce. Um, all right. So there's. it's going to be very difficult for Mixu to actually break into this now. Um, I'd also like to point out Mixu is just... Uh, we're just going heavy into the Corruptor. We're just, we're going straight into Corruptor. We're staying on 66 drones. Uh, we did expand twice. I don't know. I think Mixu's feeling confident that he can break it now, but I feel like that's not the correct call at this point because uh, Gref has this, has a good setup now. Okay, may, maybe not great setup, but he has a decent setup at the third. Looks like the main base is going to be taken out by these Corruptors. Mutalisk, um, there's... Gref doesn't really have a lot to fight this. He has a couple of Void Rays that can maybe take out some of these Corruptors, but oh, no, 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 no. This is not it. Fortunately, the uh, Void Rays immediately started firing onto the Mutalisk. Uh, nice target fire on the carriers. Resetting that number is incredibly important. She's just going to be called Mixu. Takes game number two. And it looks like Mixu will be moving on to the elimination match. Well done by both players. I gotta say, it, like, Gref may have been taken out twice in a row, but it it's always entertaining to see players.